Good morning. I'm Naya. And I'm Rise. Welcome, Welcome to, to Tech, Tech News. News. ITC Varsity Basketball had a tournament on December 2nd at, at 5 o'clock at OCC Arena. They lost a close game to JD, 55-66. to Also, congratulations to IT, ITC Fowler Girl basketball team who won their first game of the season versus Mexico. Around 11.30 a.m., Wednesday, Syracuse police officers were in the 100th block of Pond Lane on the north side searching for suspects as part of a robbery investigation. Police officers who stopped three men as possible suspects in the robbery ruled out any involvement in that crime, but found one man had a loaded handgun. Mr. Flanders is still accepting donations for the holiday drive. They're accepting clothes, processed food, and toiletries. Look for the red band outside his room on the second floor. Monday, November 28th in Ohio State, there was a shooting. It happened at 9.52 a.m. Research says he drove over a curb and struck people near Waltz Hall. Research also says he pulled a large knife and started chasing people around, trying to attack them. Someone said they didn't see anyone get stabbed, but everyone was yelling and running around panicking. The Ohio State student made a post on Facebook saying he was sick and tired. Ohio State's Columbus campus is one of the largest campuses in the United States, with 59,482 registered students. Now over to Barbadoo for more tech news. Tuesday, December 6th is the last day of our community. White dialogue with Central Square. This has been a great experience for all. Now back to the main desk. Thanks, Barbara That's it for Tech News today. See you next time for more news from the Institute of Technology at Syracuse Center.